here Linda and I are at one of the wonders of the world, Machu Picchu. And Linda's going to share her experience thus far. We're almost done with this one-on-one -on -one VIP Spirit Quest retreat here in Peru. Hi, Linda. Hi. Hi, Linda. <laughs> so, so where are you from? I'm from Santa Rosa, California, in the wine country. I cannot believe that I have given myself this trip and I can't believe that this was waiting for me. I had no idea. Truly a life rebirthing um, from the minute I got here. Um, it's just been absolutely epic. Um, a total new beginning on life. I've left the past in the past and am starting on the second half of my life <laughs> at 24, 24, yes, um, <laughs> you may have to edit this, <laughs> uh, slash 72, um, gosh, where to begin? First of all, the great care that Alexis has given me is beyond any measure I've ever, ever experienced. Um, from doing my first ayahuasca that gave me everything that I was asking for for the second half of my life. I could have left the next day and, and felt totally fulfilled. Um, each experience, climbing um, the sacred ruins at um, Pisac. Pisac, I mean, I couldn't believe I could do anything like that. I mean, just inconceivable for me <laughs> um, at any age. <laughs> um, so magical, so totally personally uh, strengthening. Um, let's see, what else did, what else? The people here are oh, so beautiful, so spiritual, oh, so colorful. And the dogs, that's, that is an amazement to me, the way the dogs are free and loved and they're just as free as the people are and they belong just as much as the people do. And on uh, how has the food and the yoga been? Oh, the yoga. We started that off first, the very first thing. And I really got in touch with my body, which I have not been my entire life. Mm -hmm. um, I made a commitment to my body um, that my body is really the ruler of my life. Um, and, and I just made a real declaration, commitment, and um, walking um, the ruins at PSAC, I really um, got in touch with how important it is to really care for your body. Mm -hmm. um, without that, I'd never be able to see all the things that I've seen, experience all the things I've experienced. Mm -hmm. Oh, what else? Um, you talked about uh, wanting to attract a partner that was empowered and that was the, the partner of your awake. dreams. Awake. And what did you realize about what you had to do to be able to attract that? Well, I have to be completely and exactly what I want. I have to be that mm. in every cell of my body. Now, um... It's not a, a demand that I want in this lifetime, but I re really love to share um, deep commitment, deep spiritual connection, openness, free, another lo badass love bug. <laughs> Definitely. Linda and I are starting a badass love bug society. Yes. Which is a heart-centered, heart, heart -centered, 
beings who are just badass and can climb big mountains even though they thought they couldn't and exactly. uh, expand their mind and their heart beyond what they knew. And I, exactly. and I Linda, I wanna, I, I need to honor Linda because at 24 years old in a 72 year old, almost to be 73, 73. year old, yeah. um, to witness someone uh, expand their heart, their mind and what's possible and just begin a new life at 72 and with that courage with that openness with that trust i really want to honor you for that thank you so much yeah you're incredible and uh so you, one of your big things on this trip was you wanted to connect deeper to mother earth and to spirit and to god but in an embodied way not in a conceptual idea way what have you seen around that well, I feel like I've gotten really grounded to Mother Earth. Um, I have a better experience um, of having that connection. Um, it has given me a real groundedness, which um, if I lose it, I can get it back real fast. A little yoga. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what about uh, freedom and self-expression? We're both very important to you uh, do you feel like you've been able to expand into that or see more of well i just feel um since i committed to myself to this trip um it's like i just <laughs> um okay so did you stop it no okay um Okay, say that again. I'm sorry. I got distracted. That's okay. So freedom and self-expression were both possibilities that you want to create for yourself. Right. What do you see around that? Have you expanded that? Most definitely um, my um, being able to climb the ruins, being able to be here in Machu Picchu, um, I can do anything. And I have left the past in the past, which are those um, uncertainties about being right, being wrong, uh, making judgments. Um, those are definitely not something I'm entertaining in the rest of my life. And just, I have this reference to move forward, the strength, the courage. Um, I'm way more connected to my own heart. Um, I discovered that in one of my um, ayahuasca Ceremony. ceremonies. Um, I, I just really feel like one of the very most fortunate people in this world to, to have had this experience. I mean, if I could have seen it coming, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Janelle. <laughs> um, anything is truly possible. I just know that. And, and an open heart is uh, step one and, and truly connected to your heart, to your body. And what made you give this gift to yourself? Why, why did you feel like you deserved to give this gift to yourself? Well, because it, it's always felt like since I was maybe 25 um, that I really wanted to make some contribution to my fellow human beings. Um, but I just didn't have the connections that I needed as far as being connected to God, to spirit. Uh, to um, Pachamama um, and I definitely have that gift now so whatever's coming I too bad I couldn't have seen this of course it, I mean too bad who cares <laughs> anyway and who, who would you say this experience is for who would you recommend this experience to? Absolutely anybody that knows they have a higher uh, calling, 
or anyone that is, um, I want to say in pain, but that's not really, someone that um, their heart just isn't open and available to their life. Mm -hmm. um, anyone that knows they have a deeper calling than what their life is like now. Mm -hmm. Anyone that feels an emptiness or a searching, um, knowing there's something more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And anybody and everybody. <laughs> and where, where did you get the courage at 72 years old to question reality and expand what's possible. Where did that courage come from? Um, just knowing that I was a badass <laughs> in my heart and, you know, whatever it took for me to get on with it. I mean, I have less years ahead than I did um, at a younger age. So, um, got to get on with it. Love all those bugs out there. There's one on your own right there. <laughs> 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 well, thank you so much, Linda. Thank you for sharing, and let's continue this spirit quest. Alex, Alex, Alexis, you are forever in my heart. You're such a very special man with such an expanded heart, such caring, such shepherding, um, one of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> so many people love you. I've seen it every day. <laughs> I've been dubbed Linda's spiritual shepherd. Yes. And I really like being dubbed that. Yes. So thank you, Linda. Let's continue love the adventure. You. All right. Thanks for your prompting. Mm -hmm. Might need some editing. <laughs> casa